Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through flat naming guys. Okay. So basically flat naming is nothing but assume that it is an unstructured naming format guys in which you will be storing the names one after the other with some kind of symbol in between them. Okay. Okay. So basically an identifier is a random bit string which we can conventionally refer to unstructured or flat naming. No additional information is stored. Hence tracing the identifier to address we will see here. So basically if you take an example so in networking we studied about multiple protocols guys so basically for one protocol if you give your ip address it will do some kind of process and it will say this ip address is mac address or vice versa right yes so in this way it will be working guys so the same concept we will be seeing in this flat naming okay so first example sorry first way is nothing but simple solution the thing that i have discovered is written here guys so that is nothing but using a broadcasting and multi-casting so basically broadcasting so broadcasting is nothing but from a single source or single device or a client you will be sending the message to all its neighbors and those neighbors will be sending again to all of its neighbors and this process continues that is nothing but broadcasting okay so first let us go through broadcasting method so this is used only in a local area network guys so remember that first of all okay yes so broadcasting so one of the most popular protocol that is nothing but address resolution protocol guys so arp address resolution protocol which identifies or gets a mac address by broadcasting ip address to all its nodes so basically it sends the ip address to all of its nodes and it says that see, so let us take an example so this is, these are our three devices guys so you got two devices and you sent the message to two devices so assume that the first device is not the device guys not that ip address and this is the ip address which you want mac address so this is the device okay so first of all you will be sending a request for these two okay so they will be checking among themselves whether their ip and the received ip is same or not so here it is not same so it will be just discarding the packet here it is the same so it will be replying with its mac address so this is the concept of arp guys okay, so that's what it is written here okay so they reply with their mac address else everyone simply dupl duplicates and forward so basically they need to forward it to the next layer also so that is done yes so this is about broadcasting okay similarly in multicasting also we are having guys as a sending data or packet or request to many systems using a broadcasting will be a better idea hence multicasting that is nothing but sending only for a group of systems will be more better idea than multicasting so assume that you want to send this information to a huge network where thousands or lakhs of nodes are there so in that situation this broadcasting will be a bit dangerous right yes you'll be sending the data to everyone so that could potentially lead to a security threat or an issue so in that situation they will be using the concept of multicasting where they will be selecting a particular group so only for that group the message will be sent guys so that concept is nothing but multicasting so in multicasting we are having a popular approach that is nothing but a forwarding pointer guys guys this approach looks really funny but even in, if once i read from the textbook also the theory was the same guys okay okay so here we are having a two processes p2 and p1 and we are having a server guys okay and we here we are having a one more process okay process one two and four okay yes so basically here in processes we are having a particular symbol guys so basically the thing is that you need to lock them okay okay so you need to get the same symbols so that they will be fitting in one another so if you observe here here among these two if you select any one they will be fitting exactly here so hence the message can be passed similarly if you observe here this part and this part will fit among themselves so this part this message will also pass here and at the end the transfer will be successful so that is the concept here guys so first let us go through the theory so another popular approach to locating mobile entities is nothing but to mask using a forwarding pointer so basically this pointer is forwarded forward and once it forms a lock the message will be forwarded pass forwarded okay so when an entity moves from a to b it leaves behind a refers to the new location b okay so it will be in this way guys so it is connected to this and this is connected to this and this is connected to this the flow will be in this way okay yes so you can write the stubs and all those things guys client stubs server stub and all those things okay okay so these are clients and this is the server and this is the local storage where the storage of everything will be there and the response will be moving back okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right
ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू होम बेस्ड अप्रोच गाइस दैट इज द सेकंड अप्रोच व्हिच विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके सो लेट अस मीट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग